In 1837, Heber C. Kimball was struggling in anticipation of a difficult assignment. Brother Heber, the Spirit of the Lord has whispered to me, let my servant Heber go to England and proclaim my gospel and open the door of salvation to that nation. The idea of such a mission was almost more than I could bear up under. I was almost ready to sink under the burden which was placed upon me. However, all these considerations did not deter me from the path of duty. The moment I understood the will of my Heavenly Father, I felt a determination to go at all hazards, believing that He would support me by His almighty power and endow me with every qualification that I needed. Bless and protect them in my absence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Heber Farley Kimball. In the name of Jesus Christ. And this is one of those times. I bless you with understanding that you will know that the Lord has asked me to go, and so I will. Be strong, trust in the Lord, and know that he will provide for you everything. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen. Although my family was dear to me, and I should leave them almost destitute, I felt that the cause of truth, the gospel of Christ, outweighed every other consideration. I love you, Papa. I love you too, boy. Now you take care of your mama for me, all right? Bye. I'll miss you. You can all lay for me, all right? In section 64 of the Doctrine and Covenants, the Lord outlines one of the fundamental principles of Zion. Behold, the Lord requireth the heart and a willing mind. This principle of complete devotion to God is an essential ingredient in the lives of those who seek to bring forth the cause of Zion which is the cause of Christ. And Elder Kimball served that cause as he fulfilled an honorable mission in England, converting hundreds. He then followed the call of a prophet to help build a city out of the swamps of the Mississippi. And then came another call to return to England on a mission with the Quorum of the Twelve. Some refused the call, but to Elder Kimball, there was no question. Even though he, along with Brigham Young and their families, were suffering from malaria and couldn't rise from their beds. Right by the fire, my son. Could you bring me a drink of that? is all I have to leave with you. No, Heber, you take... No, no, don't, don't worry about Brigham and me. The Lord will provide for us. <laughs> you take good care of your mama brothers and sister while I'm away, all right?
Now I'm ready to go. up and give him a cheer. God bless you. Goodbye. Let's go. After this, I felt a spirit of joy and gratitude at having the satisfaction of seeing my wife standing upon her feet instead of leaving her in bed, knowing as I did that I should not see them again for two or more years. Those who seek to bring about Zion must do as Heber C. Kimball did, give the Lord their heart and a willing mind.